What's up my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love and I am back with another video. This time I'm doing a video you all inspired by the healthy choice dinner that I had bought and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. I tore it out this way but I'm gonna show y'all this picture. This is what I'm gonna do. Oh this is how the, sorry y'all. This is how the bowl looks with the picture and this is it inside of here. Um, I have been inspired. I want to do, I want to make this because I bought this and it tastes so good, y'all. Now in here you'll see spinach and cuisine, and the, uh, zucchini, I'm sorry, um, tomatoes, um, chicken, and cauliflower rice, okay? But I'm going to be doing mine with spinach and kale, tomato, onion, garlic, shrimp, and I'm using cauliflower rice, y'all found it. So I'm going to be making this dish, but mine is going to be with shrimp instead of chicken. I'm going to be adding, instead of zucchini and chestnuts, I'm going to be adding uh, spinach, kale, garlic, onion, and tomatoes. Stay tuned. Okay, so I have a correction. Because on here I said chestnuts. That's why my sister need her glasses. But it says, let me put this away. It says... Chicken breast with white kidney bean and vegetables served on top of riced cauliflower with a basil pasta sauce. So that's what's in it. And um, so that's what I'm gonna be, um, I'm, I'm gonna change it up, like I said. And over here, um, I have washed off my shrimp already um, and pulled the uh, tails off of it. And that's sitting there. And I have the skillet over here um, that uh, I'm gonna be using over on the stove. And I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna chop up my ingredients. Okay, so I hope you all can see. Right now, I already cut up some a few things of spinach, as you can see, washed. And I washed some kale right here that I'm gonna um, just cut up. Cut up some kale. And um, I added an ingredient, y'all. I happened to look in my cabinet and I found some watered chestnuts. And I'm gonna add some watered uh, chestnuts to this. Cause I got my spinach and I got my kale. I don't want these in here. I already washed those off by the way. And uh, it's my spinach and here's my kale going over in here right now. And you guys, I was wondering, you guys, you all, I was wondering what was I gonna use for a sauce and I shop all the time and I'm always grabbing things. So I went and searched through my cabinet and I found this one skillet, it's creamy chicken and vegetables, which this, this should be a good sauce. It's with thyme and rosemary, black pepper. So that's, this, this, this should be great right here for a sauce for this, okay? I'm real excited. Um, this, this, you know, it's my first time making this. Um, tempting to, uh, I don't know whether I should uh, not use any oil at all, just, you know, for the, uh, just use uh, like the water, you know what I'm saying? Because usually when you, you know, when I do my vegetables, I don't really add anything. I add a light butter to it or something like that. You know, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll, I'll use a light butter and uh, I'll use, uh, I got Land Lakes butter. I think what I'll do is use a Land Lakes butter and uh, I'm gonna hurt and cut these up because I ain't gonna have time to sit here crying. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll saute the shrimp first, okay? I'm gonna do the meat first, I want it done. Uh, it don't take long, we all, you all, we all know that uh, it don't take long for a shrimp to cook. So this is how I'm doing my onions. So onions over in it. I want my onions too big, y'all, so Cut them up a little bit more. Yeah. I could have uh, diced these, but actually, I'm just gonna chop them as so. Um, these parts over here, I'm not gonna use. I'm gonna use this right here, what I have. Everything I'm putting over in this bowl uh, over here is already pre-washed, but. I'm putting these onions over here because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go, I'm 
I'm gonna wash it again, you all. My onions, my cutting board, and I got them to where I want. And I don't want that in there. And um, this is like where I want it at. Put it over there. So I want to know what all the vegetables that I'm working with. And um, and so, uh, and I'm working with these. Now these are the only thing that's not fresh. These watered chestnuts. But I'm gonna try I got my tomato and I got my garlic. This is how I uh, do my tomatoes. Um, I like these these kind of tomatoes. I don't like the other ones. Um, the fat round ones always like the, sh the shape of these. I forgot what they were called. Y'all in the comments let me know what type of tomato this is by the shape of it. Some of y'all are full uh, experts. Y'all know what type of different tomatoes and things. And, yes. and this is fine this size right here, you know. So I'm putting my tomatoes over in here, which is going to be, like I said, washed. That's why it's in a strainer. Okay, so I'm back. I had peeled them and all that stuff was kind of like difficult to do. And so I just decided it was taking up too much time, but I just want to go ahead and cut a few garlic pieces up in it. Like I said, I love me some garlic. And I'm still y'all contemplating on how I should make this sauce. Um, should I... Um, I think I should make it separate and then pour it over in it. Yeah, should make it separate with like a butter. I'll just read like some directions. Maybe I just need to like add water or something to that pack. Yeah, I ain't been able to get my nails done, but I'm kind of feeling free a little bit from the nails. I need to give my nails a break anyway, so this is good. This is a good thing. Anything that's going down and it's a uh, shut-in, that's what I call it. I don't call it a lockdown. I call it a shut-in. It's a good thing. Whatever you do. For God is a good thing, and um, I feel real good tomorrow. Okay, so here's a uh, my garlic I'm putting over in it, mm. and like I said, um, I'm going to cook the shrimp first. Then I'm going to cook the cauliflower rice, and then I'm going to um, add the vegetables. I'm going to add the chestnuts to these two. I'm gonna open it. Okay, so here I am rinsing off my vegetables like so. Put this to the side. And like I said, I got the chestnuts in here, garlic, onions, tomatoes, kale, and spinach. I'll let that sit there and drain some more in the sink. So I'm adding my shrimp first, cause like I said, I'm playing this by uh, thought, y'all. I ain't nobody, you know, show me anything. I never, I didn't even look no tutorial up on how to make this, but this is Lando Lake's butter. And I'm putting this butter in for a reason, y'all. Butter for a reason, okay. And so as I'm stirring that around, cause that's half cooked, I mean almost finished. Doesn't take long for shrimp to cook. Oh, oh sir. I'm gonna go ahead and pour in my cauliflower rice. Ooh, like ice balls. That's it. That's the cauliflower rice. I'm making a little dish. I ain't making a whole giant. That's all we got. So uh -huh. <laughs> pieces of cauliflower. Come on. I thought about making the sauce separate, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna make the sauce right over in here. I'm gonna make this a one skillet thing. Cause I saw where it add, you add your butter to the packet. Add the butter to it and you add um, your shrimp. I mean, you add your butter and you add water to that. You're adding water to this, this packet right here. I'll show you all. I'm adding water to this packet. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle this in here as a seasoning, okay. 
Mm -hmm. You see it? Because I'm going to add water. But not just yet. I'm using this as a seasoning right now. Then I'm going to add the water. Because the cauliflower is cooking too as well. So almost like a... Don't take long at all. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and add all my vegetables that you see me wash and cut. There's the mm. kale, the spinach, tomatoes, garlic, quarter chestnuts, onion, cauliflower rice. That looks amazing, Mom. How'd you do it? And it's, it's inspired. I'm adding a little water. Well, can you make my inspired seafood boil? I'm going to make a seafood boil another day. We did that seafood boil already. They saw me do the seafood not, boil. Not mine. Because I'm going to add my water to make that uh, sauce that I put in there. That packet. That'll all cook down that water. And so I don't want my stuff burning. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and add the rest to it for the seasoning. Because I already added the butter. That's why I added that butter. Because it needed butter with the um, sauce. And I think mine is going to taste better than Healthy Choice. Because, you know, it has zucchini. You know, I ain't really ever been crazy about zucchini or anything like that. I've always been a type of per uh, spinach and kale person, though. And I love me some spinach and kale, y'all. Spinach and kale with garlic seasoning oh my god y'all don't know and see how that's cooking i'm telling y'all um cauliflower uh cut up like rice oh my god i cannot tell the difference so whenever i want me some uh pinto beans and rice i'm gonna make me some cauliflower it's gonna be cauliflower instead of the uh is that on there tina yes mom it's gonna be cauliflower instead of the rice. That's cooking like that. Since I'm over here, blah blah blah. Throwing stuff away. Tearing up. I like the type of person. I like to clean my mess. So I just cleaned this whole kitchen tonight by myself. You see this girl don't know. If I come downstairs in my kitchen mess up, I'm gonna punch them both in the belly. You heard me correct my kids. Yes I did. My meme in the belly, ma. And I'm not gonna like I said, you all. I just cleaned off this microwave, Mama. This is Gruba. This is the packet that inspired me. I tore it the wrong way. The packet that I showed you already, I know. But mine's look better. Ha ha, mine look better. Oh, and it smells good, y'all. It smells delicious. Okay, so here's my inspired dish by Healthy Choice. First time trying it. Not gonna lie to y'all, I ain't cut into it yet. I bit into it yet, but I am about to. I'm gonna show y'all how it tastes. You know, you know. Oh my god, it's good. Okay, the shrimp. I'm like, I'm loving the garlic sauce. Tina about to eat some. She'll tell the truth, y'all. The spinach and the kale. Oh my goodness. The cauliflower rice. Y'all. The cauliflower rice, y'all, is, oh my God. This is so good. Mm. This is so healthy. So was, that was two tablespoons of butter. Lando Lakes butter. I saw, I did the shrimp. I sauteed it with the garlic seasoning sauce. Then I put the cauliflower rice over it in the vegetables. And y'all saw. And it didn't even take long. I turned it down to let it simmer. I just want to let y'all know this is awesome. Um, low carb meals. Mmm. I don't water chestnuts in them. Them are good. Cauliflower rice, y'all. On point. It do taste like some type of it's like some type of garlic herb soup. Or like, I don't know. It reminds me of that seafood, seafood boy when you made that sauce. It does. Tastes good. It tastes like it. And the spinach and kale like setting it up. So 
It was good, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Yeah. Inspired by... Yeah. But mine's better. Get out! Make my own! <laughs> Peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed. Terrell, come and get the trash!